Let's see how to find the limit. When x approaches zero, we know the top and bottom both approach zero. That means it is a uh, indeterminate form. We can apply L'Hopital's rule. But you will see the expression becomes larger and larger when you apply the L'Hopital's rule. So it is not convenient for us to find the limit. Let's use other better methods. Today, we want to apply the method called equivalent infinitesimal. The key idea of this method is to replace some factor by a simpler one. Let's see how. Look at the limit when x plus zero sine x over x. Because it is also an indeterminate type, so we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So limit x pose zero, the derivative sine cosine x, the derivative x one, so we get the limit one. That means when x pose zero, sine x and x are equivalent. So we can replace sine x by x. Similarly, the limit when x approaches zero, one minus cosine x over half x squared. Again, we can apply the L'Hopital's rule. So get limit x approaches zero, the root one zero, the root side a uh, cosine negative side, the root half x squared x. So we get limit x approaches zero the top sin x, the bottom x. Oh, we know the limit, which is one. That means one minus cosine x and half x squared are equivalent. Again, we can replace one minus cosine x by half x squared. So the given limit, limit x opposed zero, sin x times one minus cosine x over x cubed times cosine x can be written as limit x approach zero, replace sine x by x, replace one minus cosine x by half x squared, keep the bottom. So x cubed times cosine x. So we can cancel x, x squared, so x cubed, and x cubed. And also we can take half out. So we get limit x approach zero, the remaining part is one over cosine x. You know, the limit is one. So we get one over two times one. So the final answer is half. If you write this video, Please subscribe. Thank you.